Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, E.D. Lewis Reviews. And as you can see, back for another Halloween video. I hope everybody had a great Halloween on the 14th, or Lupercalia. And, uh, yeah, so we're back with another review. <clears throat> and this time, we're visiting our old friend H.P. Lovecraft with The Thing on the Doorstep, published in 1937. And, uh, it's a... Uh, another piece of gothic horror, gothic mystery, uh, Lovecraftian horror, the Cthulhu Mythos even. So this one's going to be a little difficult to talk about, as some of his stories are. So I'm going to try to do my best with the summary and not give too much away. So we follow a character named uh, Daniel who uh, confesses right out to us that he has just shot and killed his friend uh, Edward Darby, I think the name is. Um, but he is not a murderer, and he is, to t he is going to tell us the story of why that is. So he tells um, of, you know, his the history of his friend uh, Edward and how he became friends with him, of his love of the occult and the supernatural, and how he met a particular young lady, a rather unusual one, by the name of uh, Azaneth. Uh, wait at a, a familiar um, location in Lovecraft Stories, uh, Mishatomic University and how uh, they end up falling in love and getting married. Now, a few years or so, at least a while anyway, after their marriage, Daniel starts to act weird. He becomes, his behavior is rather erratic. He talks of, you know, his behavior is up and down. He's cool, calm moments. He's, other instances, he's um, nervous, frightened, and he talks of uh, bizarre things, especially something that his wife does and that he believes that his wife's uh, deceased father may not exactly be dead, but is alive in, a un in an unconventional way. Let's just put it that way. And soon, uh, things begin to escalate. Now, I'm being, of course, vague because I don't want to give too much away, but this is kind of an interesting one for uh, Lovecraft stories. I mean, all his stories are bizarre and weird, but this one in particular. And this one uh, kind of has to deal a bit with gender, which just seems rather unusual. Now, modern um, analysis would, and I feel like this may give a little bit away, but uh, heck with it, why not? Um, still, you'll need to read the story to understand. May even uh, sort of touch upon, um, transgender, uh, topics a little bit. I mean, the story is way ahead of its time and that, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's talking things on a positive and negative note, um, but it's interesting that a story so early would touch upon such things. I mean, maybe that was, that was clearly not necessarily what his, uh, intentions were, but... It's interesting and opens a dialogue in, you know, in, you know, our current time about such, uh, such topics. Um, so I guess in some ways it's sort of ahead of its time in, uh, certain aspects. Uh, but the story is definitely rather bizarre. And the reason why I included it with the Halloween videos is because it does, uh, feature, uh, a touch of romance and definitely some relationships, not just romantic, but a uh, relationship between friends as well as uh, an unusual marriage between Azaneth and um, Edward. Now, the story has some very creepy and disturbing moments, of course, it's H.P. Lovecraft, and there's even some cringy, especially when we get to the moment that serves for the title, The Thing on the Doorstep, which shows up much later on in the story. Um, is particularly creepy and very cringy and stuff, so, but, um, yeah, 
So it, it's a it's a bizarre uh, tale, that's for sure. So a little, real quickly before I go any further, I'm going to say what I rated this. Um, I actually rated this three broken hearts, keeping with that. Um, it wasn't the best of his stories in my personal opinion. I think it's definitely a well-known one, I would say. One of probably, you know, some of his, probably one of his top famous stories. But, um, at times I kind of found it somewhat hard to follow. Now, I read this a couple of years ago and, um, I did have to flip through and review some things. I didn't reread it though. I probably should have just reread it last month. But when I was flipping through, I it, it made a little bit more sense to me, I think, on the second go than it did the first time. But it's uh, definitely a bizarre little tale. There is at least one film adaptation. I don't remember what year it came out in, but I have it on DVD, and it's a low-budget production. It's not bad, and it gives a pretty good representation. It does change some things. It does add some things to it. The uh, effects are not wonderful, but yeah, it's not bad. So it gives a good visual representation. It also updates it to modern day and not in the 1930s. So, uh, it's, it's not terrible. Um, definitely worth looking into if you want a visual representation of the story. I had originally planned to review this story actually last year, uh, right before I, uh, reviewed the Tale of the Body Thief by Anne Rice because, um, Let's just say there's a connection there. And also in The Tale of the Body Thief, one of the stories that Raglan James, uh, stories and articles of media that Raglan James sends to Lestat is the uh, short story of the tale, uh, sorry, the t I was gonna say Tale of the Body Thief, <laughs> The Thing on the Doorstep by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, so, but I didn't get around to it, unfortunately. So here we are doing it. And I thought it'd be perfect with, uh, the marriage and relationship themes, and uh, not not the best of uh, relationships for marriage. I mean, I guess in some way, no, nah, maybe not. Not even better than that one. Probably if I were to reread it, I'd probably end up giving it a, a little bit better. It'd probably get a neck, you know, half a heart more, or even a whole heart more, um, on my rating, but. Um, it, it's definitely worth checking out for its bizarreness, and, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great and spooky month, and, uh, we are continuing Halloween for the rest, for the rest of the month. There's not much of the month left. We've got just a couple more videos coming up, and, uh, then we'll be on to March. So, I feel like this, this year is kind of almost flying. And, uh, so next time I will be talking about a book that I read for the, uh, well, reread read actually, for the Gothic Hearts uh, Reading Challenge, which is still going on, so if anybody wants to join in, it's not, you're, it's not too late to, you know, uh, get a prompt or two knocked out of the way. Unless you're a really fast reader, then you could take care of all the prompts. But uh, we're having lots of fun with that, so um, yeah, I'll do a video next time on that, and that's what I have for you in this one. So stay safe, stay spooky, happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time.